Student sections at high school basketball games had their customs. Airball. When a group of students from Blue Valley Northwest High School chanted airball at Tuesday night's game against Blue Valley High, it cost them their seats. You can't hear it on the game's live stream. In the second quarter of Tuesday's game, a player from Blue Valley High missed a jump shot that missed the rim and backboard. When Northwest cheering section chanted airball, school administrators threw out 20 to 30 teenagers as punishment. He just came up and told us it was time to go. Chris Daniel was one of them. He's an 11th grader at the school. Daniel says the boys who chanted knew the player who missed the shots and they meant it as a friendly tease. I understand what they're trying to do and enforce the rule and make sure it's a friendly environment, but at the same time, I think there needs to be some change. Northwest senior Drew Kaufman witnessed the ejections. Kaufman says the student section was warned, but many students didn't hear it since the gym was so loud. As a player, it makes it more fun. You know, you're going through the adversity. I don't think he should have been ejected at all. Both players are making reference to Rule 52 from the Kansas State High School Activities Association. The rule specifically says chanting air ball is considered bad sportsmanship. Jeremy Holiday is a spokesperson for that governing body who explained the rule enables game administrators to use their best judgment. If you can kind of see that, hey, something's brewing here, and something as simple as yelling air ball could set this off to the next level that could create even worse damage, then we got to be mindful of that. A statement from the Blue Valley School District says, quote, students, families, and our community are an important part of the game day experience for our high school activities and athletics. We expect that our high school communities represent themselves and our schools in a positive way during these events. The students who were ejected from the game tell me they respect school leadership and they understand enforcing the rules is a pretty tough job. However, they also say that Rule 52 is a little too strict and it strips some of the traditional fun out of high school sports. Sean McDowell, Fox 4, working for you.